Hello, the internet. It's me, Connor Jones here, and boy, do I have a treat for you. Uh, not any, not any physical gifts because there's a screen separating us through a camera lens. I mean, it's been a while, you know, long time no see, you know, because you can see me right now, but actually, I can see you, and what you're doing is weird, so please stop. Oh no, I'll wait. Yeah, so anyway, a while back my friend Nate Nathaniel, I don't I don't know, I don't have like a cool nickname for him, Nathan Kane, he uh, told me that he was covering the Motion City soundtrack album, Commit This to Memory, and I was like, I love that album! It was hard for me to contain my excitement, and I was real stoked. So I was like, dude, if you do any like videos of you playing through those songs, let me help you because I love those songs too. He shot a bunch on his own, and I was like, uh, what do you have left? And he was like, I got these left. And I was like, cool, let me help out with a couple of these. So we grabbed a bunch of equipment, we shot a couple of videos real quick, and then like sped edit them. Speed, sped, speed, speed, speed. We sped through an edit. Uh, we did it all at his house, and it was on his computer, and I didn't have my computer with me. I'm a rookie mistake, I know. But I was like, yo, let me step in and like finagle this in, in Premiere, and I did it like real quick. Um, I was pretty impressed with it. I was pretty happy with what happened, especially with how quick it happened. And all that matters is you know like the principles or like you have an understanding of like what you're trying to do and you can accomplish pretty much, well, you know, anything. What I'm gonna do today is show you how I did like a very quick, no LUT color grade for this. I, I shot this on my Panasonic GH5 in Vlog. That will explain to you like why it starts out desaturated and whatnot so I have more control over the colors. But if you're ready, let's, uh, let's get into the computer. All right, here we are, we're inside Adobe Premiere CC 2019. This is the, the goal grade that, that we're going for. This isn't exactly the same thing. This is something I did like when I got home, but it's, you know, it's, it's pretty close, I think. And I chose this specific clip because when he says the line, uh, the kitchen's on fire, his eyes get really wide and I think it's funny, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do all this whole color grade on a an adjustment layer And what that means is that I can have like, you know Three or four or however many clips like, if they're all shot similarly I can just uh, apply a grade and then I can be like, okay, cool uh, This look will apply to all of them. I don't have to worry about it But then like if one individual one has like something messed up with the white balance I can go in there and like correct the white balance on that one individually as opposed to like all over So anyway, that's why I work on and just my layer I'm sure that I don't know that I needed to explain that but in case you didn't know now, you know All right So anyway, uh, one of my favorite things about Adobe Premiere Pro I feel like this is an ad and it's not hashtag not an ad unless you want it to be Adobe Anyway, uh, one, of my, one of my favorite features in like the recent updates is that they have this color tab up here. And if you just click it, you're like, all of my favorite tools are just there. Cool, cool tools. That's That was my nickname in high school. They were like, hey, what's up, cool tools? I'm like, that's not, that's not, a, that's not a true story. I just, I just said that, so. Any users, I'll walk you through these. I've got, I've got the waveform, the parade, uh, the histogram, and then the vector scope. Like, so basically, if you see this this highlight right here, this bar, that is these quasar tubes in the background. And if we scrub through, we can see them moving. That's actually a good reference point. I'll go ahead and just desaturate everything so that that way all the red, green, and blue values are the same. We don't have to worry about anything giving us false information. We're just looking at the luminance right now. So I'll go over to the curves tab, and then that quasar bar up here, um, that's gonna be 100% white. So what we can do is grab the, the white point up here and then just drag it up until it gets almost to 100. Um, I like to have a little bit of room. If I see it go up there and then it starts to peak, I'm just gonna bring it back down a tiny bit. That way we just have a little bit of information we can pull it back if we need to. And then I'll do the same thing for the uh, black point. So I'll just click and then drag it over until just about the bottom of that, because it is a black sheet back there and it should be entirely black. But we do want a little bit of value in there because there is some data that we don't want to lose. So we don't want to hit the bottom, but we want to get pretty close. All right, I'd say right about there looks pretty good. And then I'll, I'll grab uh, the shadows down here and then just drag them over and I'll grab the highlights and then drag them back over to give us a little bit of contrast back. And that looks pretty good. So and I'll double click on the saturation, little doohickey thingy right here, and that'll reset everything. All right, cool. I think this is already like worlds better. If, you, if we turn this off and back on, we'll just turn off the, the curves over here. You see like that's that's already like an insane improvement um but i mean you know like that's just like that's pretty much like what it looked like on the day let's go ahead and get through everything else so if there excuse me i just burped 
People have these, like these things happen. Why don't we see more burps on YouTube, you know? I don't know. Anyway, people have gas, it's okay. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, so what I like about this also, about the new version of, of um, CC, is that you can now rename these layers over here, and then you can, you can like, without leaving the color tab, you can stack a bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this one, this instance of, of Lumetri Color as the base adjustments. So it's basically like your, your beginning correction. And I'm going to add a new Lumetri color. Uh, Lumetri, Lumetri, Lumetri. I probably have said it all the ways, so mm. now we're gonna do the grade. So I'm gonna go back to saturation, pull it all the way down, just like we just did. Um, and then what I like to do, and this is something that I really wish I knew where I picked this up. It has been one of the, the most helpful thought processes in, in uh, editing photos and video especially color wise. What I essentially do is I will divide uh, the curves line in half from the middle down and then keep adjusting. So it's, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll click here and then I will drag either down and see if I think that that's interesting or I'll drag it up and see if I think that's more interesting. So right now I usually go back on the middle one here but I think it looks more interesting if I drag it down, kind of like I like dramatic looks. I do that and then I split the difference between the black point and the middle point right here. And I do that again. And then I see what, what makes the most sense to me visually. I just kind of eyeball it and see what I like the most. I keep doing that and I, I'm keeping an eye on my, my scopes over here, making sure that nothing is peaking or clipping or whatever you want to call it. I'm probably not using the right words, but all words are made up, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it does matter. I don't know. I like words. I love words. I'm addicted to words and they're useless. Anyway, and then see like that is kind of a dramatic change. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that back up a little bit. And then I divide one time over here usually. And then everything looks like it's still remaining under control over here. So let's go ahead and bring back the saturation. But here's the thing. For a dramatic or cinematic look, what I'm doing is I'm pulling this back up here, but I'm not gonna return the saturation all the way up. You, re you with me? Let's go. Let's go on this journey together. We got this. So I'm pulling it up and I'm just kind of waiting, waiting for it to seem like it might be too much. Mm, yeah, right about there I'm feeling like, ah, it might, be, it might be a little too much, so I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. And then the cool thing about Vibrance is it's just like saturation, but it's specifically, it's more for the mid-tones. So we can, we can pull up the, the, vibra the Vibrance here and then have that color like resurgence. <laughs> uh, and then that way, if, it, if everything's desaturated a little bit, you're not, you're not going to lose the oomph for your color. You don't really need to like boost the sharpness, but if you're gonna do it, I, you do it here. This is too much. This is ridiculous. So if I do it a little bit, it's like, you know, between seven and 11 because, you know, Slurpees are fun. All right, cool. So I'm I'm relatively happy with this. I think this looks pretty good. Okay, so there's so many cool things. One thing I love about the new versions of Lumetri is that we have the, the versus curves. So the, the hue versus hue curve is amazing because what you can do is you can go in here, you can even out his skin, make it like more cinematic, more dramatic, whatever. I'm gonna come in here and find the areas that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take this little eyedropper buddy and then just be like, right there on his skin I'm like oh you want the skin tones boom there they are cool and then i'm like all right so i'm gonna drag these around and you can start to see uh how dramatic you can you can change stuff but like obviously it's gonna break a little bit if you go too far so i don't want it to be too pink i want to kind of like pull the pink out of his skin a little bit i'm keeping an eye on the skin tone line there Let's see what we, i'm gonna add some extra points over here just to just to make sure I'm gonna pull. Let me see if we can change shift the yellow a bit too. Yeah. All right. See, that's actually affecting the, the neck of the guitar pretty wildly as well. You can hear my computer being like, "I gotta take off. My people need me." It's gonna fly out of this room really quickly. We're getting somewhere. Just gotta get that. Yeah. I think that's 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 looking better. That's looking better for sure. And then let's see if this pink is doing. Okay. Yeah. You can kind of see it on his ear there. If I push it, that's where. That's the. That's where. It, we're looking for all right cool so if we turn this off and on you can see before and after before and after essentially i'm just like evening out the skin there all right cool 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 all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and rename this one grade you know like second grade this is the first grade yeah, it's not a good joke, you know. Uh, so we've got the base notes and we've got the grade. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one, and then we're gonna we're gonna try to to hit some of the skin tones there and see if we can 
pull them out. Uh, we're gonna grab this eyedropper here and be like, okay, cool. What am I looking for? Skin tones, thank you. So I click there and then it'll gives me like a rough um, estimate of where that where those are. So I can, if I click this color gray thing, it's gonna show me a key of like, oh, that's what you've selected. So what I wanna do is, is take this plus sign and drag it over the rest of, of his skin area just to like, it'll widen that out, that selection for us. And we can come back in here and be like, okay, we have more of his skin. So this will take a, a probably a little bit of an adjustment for you. You're just gonna have to play around with it. It's gonna be different for everybody. And then also don't worry if like, cause like his guitar obviously is in his skin, but it's gonna be in a similar hue area. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some of that naturally. Let's see here. Okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, you can you can denoise it and like kind of blur it a little bit. Uh, I I don't know. I get mixed results with that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it standard and see what we get. Right, so from here, what I like to do is uh, we go into the effects controls over here and just kind of draw a mask around his face, so that we're not gonna be influenced by like the the quasars basically. Um, just grab some of the skin tones there. And then we go back over to the adjustment layer and into the Lumetri scope. So you'll see that like, okay, cool. We're only seeing the values from this area. You can see that represented in the changes that happened here. Um, and then that way we can see like, hey, we're doing pretty good on this skin tone thing already. We probably don't have to change it a whole bunch really. But um, what we can do is like this. So this correction, uh, the single one is going to be your mid tones. So if I push these a little bit further, we can watch over here on this, uh, on the vector scope. Um, where that is going and then we'll just make sure that, that stays on that line so this is too orange like this is very obviously too orange uh, so I'm gonna dial it back I just want to show you that like if you push along that line like that this is the skin tone line so if we pull this back a little bit we should be good and then like it's okay if it looks a little extreme because we're gonna take care of that so you come back over to you click the, the three button it'll give you the shadows the midtones and the highlights if we're dealing with adding orange to the skin tones if you if you add like a little bit of blue teal to the highlights that's gonna look more natural because it's the opposite of the of the color spectrum. So it's a complementary color. So you put that into the highlights and you're like, oh, that automatically like already neutralizes what we just did, but it still pulls the skin out more. Any any hoosers, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this clip here and pull that mask off. Just delete that crap. And then I think that looks pretty good, you know? So if we pull that off, we can see what we've done. I think that looks dope. All right, so that was that was just a kind of a quick rundown of how I did like a, a pretty basic grade. And it's cool to know that if I don't have a lot of time, I can just do this in Lumetri really quickly, knock out like a, a pretty a pretty decent grade. I'm impressed with this. Uh, if you have any tips on like anything else that you would do differently, like let me know. I would love to hear about it. And if you enjoy this, if you want more stuff like this, like you know that would be awesome too. Uh, yeah, you know. Also, here's the thing: go watch this video. Go watch his whole, he has a whole playlist of every song on the album. So it's Motion City Soundtrack's album, Commit This to Memory. This guy did a killer cover of every one of the songs. You know, the album means a lot to me, but it clearly means a crap ton to Nate, to Nathan. He put his heart and soul into this and it sounds amazing. He also records bands. So if you have a band that like needs, you know, an album or something like that, or like an EP or a demo or whatever, like hit this guy up. He's good at what he does. All right, cool. Well, go check that. I'm sure that there'll be a link somewhere for that. I'm pointing to things that I don't know where they are anymore because it's been a while, YouTube, but um, you'll find it. It'll be, there'll be a link. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, next time.